Hello friends, it's always good to know about the exam for which you appearing and also the things which you get from that exam. So can you want to know about the PUCT PG chemistry exam? Can you want to know about the exam pattern that is which type of pattern is there? Can you want to know about the course offered by this exam? that is MSc honors in chemistry that how many number of seats are available in that course can you want to know about the number of additional seats can you want to know about the seats distribution can you want to know about the weightage can you want to know about the how to calculate overall marks or weightage if you want to know about it then please watch this video till end my name is gurvinder singh welcome to the punjab university gyan youtube channel so let's start the video in my first slide the title is shown to you that is know about PUCT pg chemistry exam which is also very important so first of all i can discuss about the exam pattern that is which type of questions are there and the total number of questions and all of this First of all, the type of questions that is objective type that is MCQ type basically. So th second thing that is number of questions. How many number of questions are there? That is 75 and the number of marks for each correct answer that is 1 and the number of marks for each wrong answer that is minus 0.25 that is means negative marking is there and the total number of marks that is 75. So, the most important thing that how many number of seats are available in the MSc Honours Chemistry. Total number of seats are 15. What the interesting thing is that, that number of additional seats are there. So, total number of additional seats are 7. So, now I can discuss about the seats distribution category wise. It is extremely important. In general category, there are 8 seats available and in SC category, 2 seats are there. In ST category, there is 1 seat and in the BC category, there is also a 1 seat and in Defense category, there is also a 1 seat and in Sports category, there is 1 seat and for PW category, there is also a 1 seat. Now, the most important thing that you want to know that is additional seats distribution category wise so single girl child or you can say one girl child for that two seats are available and in rural area two seats are there and in water area one seat in youth festival area one seat and in wards of kashmiri displaced persons or you can say for kashmiri migrants there is also a one seat so now i can discuss about the betis that which thing contributes how much in the total or overall marks or weightage so entrance test contributes 60 percent to the total weightage or percentile you can say and qualifying examination that is your semester examination your bachelor's marks that contributes 40 percent to the total weightage and there are some additional weightages also for ncc or nss or youth festival or some skill up to 4% additional weightage you gain but these additional weightages are according to your qualifying examination marks there is a criteria for that according to which you get the additional weightage for PU weightage if you done your graduation under the college of Punjab University then you get some additional weightage that is PU weightage this contributes maximum up to 5% and if you done your graduation in BSc Honours Chemistry, then you get 15% additional weightage. But it's also according to your qualification, qualification examination marks. Okay. So now I can discuss about the method that how to calculate the overall marks or additional weightage. So I take an example for that. If Ram got 65 marks out of 75 in entrance test and he has 70% marks in his qualifying examination then the total marks or total weightage or percentile you can say first of all 60 by 100 because 60 percentage is the contribution of the entrance test that's why i use it here 60 by 100 into the 65 by 75 now 
we can find a percentage of 65 marks out of 75 that's why 65 by 75 into 100 so plus 40 by 100 because 40 percent is the contribution of the qualifying examination that's why 40 by 100 into 70 that is the percentage of qualifying examination so the overall percentage is or percentile you can say 80 percent so in this way i can explain to you about the pu ct pg chemistry exam that is exam pattern number of seats additional seats seats distribution weightage how to calculate overall marks or weightage the pdf of these slides is also given in the description box you can subscribe to the channel for further upcoming videos and please press the bell icon because the videos are coming very soon so thank you